Hello. Good to see you. At the corner of 9th and Lee Streets. It's definitely a sense of reverence. Behind burly brick walls. Just try and hold it together and then kind of like pull it. A delicate dance unfolds. I mean, it's a national icon. This is a homecoming years in the making. I've been anticipating this moment for a decade. At the John Marshall House, a tangible link to the early days of our republic returns to Richmond. And I'm going to pull it forward. The Chief Justice, credited with shaping the Supreme Court we know today, donned this very robe while sitting on the bench. It's a witness object in a lot of ways. You know, there's so many court cases that Marshall presided over that he would have been wearing this. But more than two centuries of wear, tear, and time took their toll. There's still sweat stains. There's hair pomade. So it's, it's exceptionally tangible. I need to come around there. Howard Sutcliffe was contracted to save the robe from extinction. It was in pretty poor condition. It was in kind of a very, very heavily folded into a smallish box. For 10 months, the conservator worked on the silk garment at his office in Alabama. There was a lot of things going against it. Howard says if no action is taken, aging fabric, like Marshall's robe, can vanish. They just... Uh generally deteriorates until, you know, you get a box of dust, so. The native of England was tasked with shoring up at least five previous attempts to conserve Marshall's robe. Silk is, of the natural fibers, silk is probably the most susceptible to environmental damage. Sudcliffe has preserved a wide range of artifacts from the Russian royal family to Kermit the Frog. It kind of like had a very definite personal connection. Things like that can't help but kind of like affect you. It's going to be stabilized for future generations to look at. Preservation Virginia's Jennifer Hurst Wender says John Marshall is one of the most important figures in American history. This piece has been part of our collection pretty much since we've been open to the public for over a hundred years. Marshall fought in the Revolutionary War and served as Secretary of State before leading the Supreme Court from 1801 till his death in 1835. To be able to see it now positioned in, in all of its glory is, is just exceptional. Pretty good for, you know, yeah. 200 years. The priceless artifact will go on display in a state-of-the-art case built especially for the robe. You know, hopefully, you know, what I've done will kind of make sure that it gets to the next pair of hands you know, 50 years down the line. For those charged with preserving John Marshall's legacy. It gives you, uh, it gives you butterflies. The judgment is in. It's nice to see it back home. Welcoming the refurbished robe was well worth the wait. It's like a birthday present and Christmas all rolled into one. Absolutely. If you would like to see John Marshall's refurbished robe, it's now on display at the museum. After a year, it will then be moved to the Virginia Museum of History and Culture for an extended stay. For I Have a Story, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.